Hi. This is the homework for translations three, two. Let's take a look. It says ABC is translated one unit right and four up. So we've seen before and that would look like this. Or on our last homework, we also talked about they could show it like that. Okay, so what do we do here? It says draw it. So I can think about this as three soldiers. Each, each soldier gets their orders to go one unit right and four up. So A says, okay, I'm supposed to go one unit right and four up. One, two, three, four. Okay. So that's where A's new location is, and we call that A prime. So I can read that. It looks like two, one. Beautiful. Now, when we translate, we could do it with math or just using our picture. So we could have also lined up our coordinates. If A is one comma th negative three, that we could add one and add four. So a prime would be one plus one and negative three plus four. Look, got the same answer. So I like doing it both ways because I can double check my work. Okay, now B also got the same orders. Move right one, four up. Right one, four up. So that's where B prime, the new location of B. And then C, same thing, one over, four up, one, two, three, four. So this is called rigid motion, meaning that the size of this shouldn't change when you translate it. So that's why it's called rigid motion, meaning hard, firm, doesn't get bigger or smaller. Move something, but allow these to not stretch or shrink. So let's look at our new B location, four, four, and our new C location, five, two. Now, as a general rule, how would we write the translation? As we said this here above, we add one to every X value. So one plus one is two, three plus one is four, four plus one is five. We added one to all the X coordinates. And what do we do to the Y? Uh, it says four up, which is the same thing as add four. So negative three plus four, zero plus four is four, negative two plus four is positive two. That's right, and that makes sense. Now let's look at our next example. It says JKL has these coordinates, so we have to graph it. So you might want to graph with a pencil in case you accidentally have to change a coordinate. All right, zero, two, three, four, negative three, negative two, five, one. Now, after we've drawn it, draw the image J prime, K prime, L prime after we translate it four to the left and five up. So if to the right was to add four, to the left must mean to subtract four. Five up, okay, so we had four up a minute ago, so five up, um, we should add five to the Y. Okay, so let's line up our math here, right? Zero, two, we wanna subtract four and add five. that'd be seven. K was three, four. We want to subtract four, add five. And L. Subtract four and add five. Okay, now let's graph this and see if we're on the right track. So I'm not sure what if I made a math mistake, so I'm just going to use a pencil. Negative four, seven, J prime, negative one, nine, K prime, one, six, L prime. 
Now using patty paper, I need to confirm that this is rigid motion. Ooh, I, I don't, don't have a piece of patty paper with me, but I can kind of trace it through any, any piece of paper. If I trace it through a sticky note here, yep, the shape saved the same size. That's called rigid motion. Okay, so it looks like we got this right. We can also double check, is that what they moved? So they said, move it left four, so J, one, two, three, four, that's left four, and five up. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, so I got this right. L moved left four, one, two, three, four, up five. One, two, three, four, five, yep. K, left four, up five. Beautiful. So I did what they asked me to do. And now I know for sure, <coughs> excuse me, since I checked it in two ways, I know these coordinates are correct. So I'm gonna put them in. Beautiful. Example three. So we have write a general rule. So notice this doesn't have a prime and this one has a prime. So this tells me this is the pre-image and this is the image. The image is the one with the prime. So this is kind of the before picture and the after. Now a general rule um, it was here, now M is over there. So let's figure out how it got there. It looks like it went one, two, three, four, five, six to the right. So six to the right, one, two, and up two. Six to the right and up two. We can double check in. Did it go six to the right? One, two, three, four, five, six, up two, one, two, yep. Now, my three hole punch blotted that out, but this is, this is looking good. So before we turn it over though, it looks like I skipped one. Let me go back up here. It says, tell me more about this figure. Is it congruent or similar? So congruent means equal measure. So we actually did talk about this with the patty paper. I'm gonna say yes. Yes, it's congruent because it is equal in measure. The triangle didn't enlarge or shrink. It stayed the same size. So it's congruent. Now for the back, let me check my time, sorry. All right, let's see how the back goes. So example four says, graph these points. Okay. and connect them to make a triangle. Translate it using this rule. All right, so um, they're not adding three, so this must be the opposite of going right. It must mean I need to go left, and instead of going up, it looks like I gotta go to down. So I'm gonna go left three, one, two, three, and down one. And that's gonna be my new location of T. So I'm gonna put a prime. And then I repeat that. Left, one, two, three, down one. So it gets a little messy, but that's, that's, this is where U prime needs to be. This is its new location. And then let's look at V, left three, one, two, three, down one. That's our V. Okay. In Word, describe what the rule is asking you to do. Go left, three, and down, one. 
draw it, done. Identify the coordinates. Okay, no problem. Negative three, two. Negative one, three. Positive two, negative two. Check out the next video for the rest of the worksheet.